All right, so I'm going to go ahead and recap the trades I took this morning. And uh, unless we get some major changes here in the way the market is moving coming out of lunch, you know, I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, unless we get some breaking news or, you know, the market starts to be receptive to some trend continuation, um, we'll call it a day. Um, and pretty, pretty good day as far as I'm concerned. Um, the first trade we're looking at uh, was PTCT. And we had a couple on our watch list, DRI, RHT, and PTCT. And, you know, it was I had to kind of pick the one that I felt would give me the best opportunity. And I felt PTCT would be that one. Um, you know, we came up, we had the the open opening candle. You no, know, we ran up and pulled back. The next candle we opened and pulled back. I wasn't getting in this until after till under the sixteen um eighty two. This this is the let me change the color of this. This is the uh, opening range low. Okay, this was the opening range low. This was <clears throat> the pre market, well, the high here on this last push up. So I was looking for it to potentially reject here and then, you know, come down. But what I did was I waited for it to get below this level and below the VWAP. So I was below enough um, resistance and I kind of waited until, you know, we were late in this candle before I got in. You know, I used a two minute candle over here to, um, you know, to help me decide. You know, we had three coming down. This candle closed below VWAP. So it, you know, triggered me to get in. So I got in here and got the move down to this first level. And obviously I'm going to take some profit here because this is about where we bounced. So I put an order here at, at 1625. You know, I took it and waited the next one was 1575 that was about 50 cents away and i grabbed some here and this wasn't a um a daily level this was a psychological level a quarter dollar mark that sometimes the stocks do get caught up at 12 7 at the 75 cent and the 25 cent level as well so that's why i put mine here I did not think we would get a clean move down to 15, but you know, we did, but I went ahead and took some here and then my final target was going to be 15. I, I started to put it here at the 200. This line, this white line is a 200 from the daily. I started to put it here, but I said, no, I'm being a little bit greedy. Um, if it bounces at 15, this is where I want to keep it. And it kind of hung at 1501 for like forever. It seemed like forever that it wouldn't come down and take out my 15 order. Uh, but once it did, it just washed and we came down and, and hit the um, 200. And, you know, like I always say, the 200 is like a magnet. And once it gets within 10 or 15 cents of it, it's going to get sucked into it. Um, but I didn't trade the reversal off of this because I fully expected the 9 to be here and we would get a rejection here and a loss of the 200 and we would get to the, the next level. But, you know, that didn't happen. This thing was very strong and it pushed up. And once we got over the, the 9, and we were holding this level, I knew my day and my trade on this was done. You know, so I just walked away from it. And as you can see, um, 
do, 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 do. It's just been trending up since. So this was a clear bounce. We claim we got the VWAP, so we completed the reversal move. And this went all the way through VWAP and went up and tested the opening range low. You know, it got rejected here, but we're still trending up. Um, so definitely, you know, my analysis and my thought on this, you know, just didn't come to pass. The market, you know, didn't continue to follow through for me. And this was a, a good, solid reversal. This hit our scanner. You can see it, it was hitting our scanner here starting at 10.07. You know, on this candle right here. Started hitting right here. And right off this 14.51 level, you know, we got the bounce and the 200, you know, right off of this. So really, you know, really nice move, but I'm, I'm happy I got the meat of the move. I'm very happy about it, but, you know, didn't, um, didn't have any conviction in the bounce, in the reversal here. Because we had this level, we had the nine, I didn't think we were going to make the push, um, but we did. But still happy with this. I think we took a peek at this because I was showing somebody how to hide their P&L. Um, so this was like a $250 trade or so. And I mean, this is a trade you can just shut your morning down on. I mean, you locked it in, you're done. You know, go, go home. You know, yesterday I made like $57 or something like that. Um... I just couldn't, I missed the big move. I missed this move at the open. And then I traded these little small moves and only got, like after commissions, $57. Which I should have had a $250, $300 day had I caught the opening trade. You know, I just had some problems I, that I couldn't get in it. But this is what I look for every day. And I'm not going to waste my time trying to ch chase these small moves and risk giving back some of my money. It, it doesn't make sense. So you're not going to see me do that much anymore. Now, I felt obligated for a long time to keep taking these trades, you know, so that people wouldn't get bored and stuff in the chat room. But the reality is what I'm supposed to be doing is demonstrating the right way to grow your account and the right way is not sitting here taking these little trades all day you wait for the solid setups if they don't come you lock in what you made and you go home you come back tomorrow the markets always going to be open and if you don't get a trade today or tomorrow you're going to get one the next day or you're going to get one the next day it doesn't matter the market will be here and you will get a trade. Just have to be patient. You don't want to give all your money away so that when the trade comes, you can't get in it. You know, that's a a bad feeling. So the last trade I took, this was a an attempt at a news play. Now SCG Scanner, this is you know a local company here. They have they manage our electricity and gas. They've got some serious legal problems going on uh, with they were they had plans and had raised all this money to build a new nuclear plant and then they scrapped the project all of a sudden um, there's some the state and other agencies are like you know you can't do this you know we've got a lot invested in this so there's a lot of negativity coming out so I expected this to continue to watch. Now for my news plays, what I like to do is let the first candle wash out, watch the profit taking on the second candle, and get a, at least a 50% retracement of the breakdown candle or the breakout candle, whichever way we're going, and then get short. And if I have a level like the VWAP here, that's even better. But 
Unfortunately, this one did not work out. It continued to get bought up. Um, this the um, profit taking, I guess, continued, and people just for some reason was buying this stock up. You know, this thing is gonna tank. You know, eventually is is going to tank, but for some reason, people were just buying it up. Um, but I had a, you know, my stop here was tight. You know, I could have let it, given it a dollar stop, but no, I wasn't going to do that. If we lost this and we ran, tried to run up, I needed to stop out. And so this, you know, only cost me 40, 50 bucks. Um, it was worth a shot. This was my strategy. This was my setup. Um, I thought we were going to get some volume here and it was just a big disappointment. First candle, massive volume, and then nothing. So no need to try to get back in this. You know, once the volume went away, that means interest went away, and we're done. You know, the day is done. Um, but the other stocks that were on our watch, DRI, it had a pretty rocky opening, uh, which is why I didn't like the price action, which is why I stayed away from it. However, secondary move here on this rejection and on this rejection. I mean, this was just running down. And you can see, I think we, we're pretty much got sideways now. This is pretty much run out of steam. But you could look at look at it on this chart. And you can see we just kind of kept grinding down. You know, now we're still under the 20. You know, we're still in lunch. So that could be why we're kind of trading sideways. Coming out of lunch, you know, we could get some more sell-off. You know, lower day is right here at 77.69. So it is a possibility this can sell off and make a new low. But right now, the price action I see is just not. I just see sideways. And for me, I need the larger trend type moves. And this, I just don't see it here yet. Um, the other one was RHT. Um, and this one had a slightly delayed breakdown here. And the reason why I want to show you this chart, this is a study that I have that marks the five minute open range high and low. Every now and then it misses and it picks up off the pre market. And in this case, it picked up off the pre market low. Have we used this low? Let me do this. Let me change the. Have we used this low right here, which is the actual low of this candle? We would have been stopped out. But if I'd have used the low that the study put in, we would have had a solid trade. You know, we would have got the move down. It did pull back, but it rejected the opening range low that this study put in place. Not the one that I would have used off of this five minute candle. And this has happened multiple times. So from now on, I'm going to start respecting whatever this puts in. That's what I'm going to go with. And, you know, if it reads it off this candle, then so be it. We're done. That's that's the range I'm going to use. If it reads it off this candle, I'm going to use this candle. You know, whatever it does, I'm going to follow this. Because obviously, the calculation in this knows more than me. And so from now on, I'm going to be using that. But both of the every stock on our watch list today gave us a move. Some were cleaner than others. Some just took longer to work. But the morning was was a solid morning. Now I would just sit on my hands and wait. You know, I wouldn't give back any money right now unless we get breaking news or we get a stop to get some volume. 
and a little bit of momentum going in the direction we want it to go, not going to do anything. So my morning is done. Um, two, two trades, two stocks, you know, and we'll be ready for tomorrow. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Stay safe and make sure you trade for skill.